I spent some time out here on South Pacific Street, talked to a number of people, some who are open to going on camera and others who are not. But regardless, people feel strongly on both sides of this debate. They tear down single family houses and they build eight to 12 bedroom mini hotels. Jeff McDermott and a handful of homeowners giving an earful to the Oceanside Planning Commission a few weeks ago. He says the homes in red represent vacation rentals. It's not a residential only zone any longer. He and his wife Ashley bought this five bedroom beachfront compound for seven and a half million dollars in 2020, though the home has been in their family since 1957. And next door is a short term vacation rental. I don't want to sleep in my house if my husband's not there because there are so many sketchy people renting these houses overnight all around me. The rental next door is owned by Dr. David Fishbach and his beachfront only vacation rental business. This is the kitchen. <laughs> this is the living room. This is the view and really mostly everybody's going to be outside. I was given a tour by Sully Sullivan. She's lived in Oceanside for more than 40 years and is director of the California Short Term Rental Alliance. I asked her about the recent comments made by some of the neighbors. That attitude of entitlement that is definitely not a local quality here um, we are open to the public we give uh, local experiences to the visitors fishbox says he's drafting plans to tear down this three-bedroom house and build two separate homes for a total of 10 bedrooms oceanside's rules allow two visitors per bedroom plus two that would allow 22 vacationers to stay on the property if approved by the city he plans on adding a staircase to the beach that would be open to the public this is going to be a benefit not only to the guests of the vacation rentals, but to the public who have been locked out of this area for so long. According to a staff report in December, there were just over 1,000 short-term rentals in the city, with more than 700 of those in the coastal zone. Last fiscal year, the city raked in about $16 million in transient occupancy tax, half of that from hotels, the other half from short-term rentals. I just really feel we kind of got to get a handle on it. Sherry Mack and his former deputy mayor of Oceanside, she says city leaders right now are revisiting this issue and considering a number of revisions. I'm hoping again that they can get a handle on it and make sure that if people complain that they actually follow up on it. The Planning Commission will take up this issue on March 25th, after which it will go to the city council again. In Oceanside, Brian White, CBS 8.